Well, good morning and happy Saturday. Nancy Burt Priest here. If you're here this morning, please comment. If I don't get to it during the live, I will certainly share with you after. So today we're going to make this cute little, um, and I can see this one. That's why I put it back in the bag. It's got some stuff on it, so I'll probably remake that. But this is a very cute, I have a little handmade soap in there. And it's a really cute, easy um, mini gift bag. So, let me show you. I'm using the paper from the mini catalog, um, September to December. And it's on page 5. And this is the Make a Difference pa paper, which is cool. Because every time you purchase it, they donate $3 to different organizations, which I think is awesome. So, Walk in the Forest DSP. Let me get you, I realized I had an uh, event and I was making these, and that one got put back in the box. So, let me show you a better one. This one looks much better. It doesn't have yuck on it. I don't know what happened, but whatever. So, I wanted to show you, I cased this from the Paper Pixie, Julie DiMatteo, and she made this a couple years ago. So I wanted to um, make, I just have a 6 by 12 piece of um, basic white, and I wanted to show you how to score this. So what I did is on the long side, we're going to score it at 4 and a quarter, and we'll actually do it, 5 and 3 quarter, 10 and 11 and a half. Then we're going to turn it, and we're going to score it at 1 and a half. Then we're going to flip it, and we're going to score it at five. When you're all done, you're going to notch the top here and cut out the bottom. I'm going to actually do it with some designer series paper so that you can see, and I'll keep bringing this back in so this will make sense. If you don't have a Simply Sword, they are amazing, although I just knocked the top off, and I will put that on later. Um, so they're really handy. Um, they have the measurements and some people even do different things. We have little things you can put, um, if you want to mark things, it comes with this little, um, tool. I tend to like the small side, but both work. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring this back in on the long side. Oh, one more thing I have to tell you. If you have patterned paper, this was great to work with because it wasn't both of these, even though this one has some yucky on it. Um, they were not directional, but I wanted to show you a directional because I want to start with this. Um, and the part that is going to be turned over is not directional. So that makes our life a little easy. So I'm going to start um, on the small side at four and a quarter. If you can hear leaf blowers in the background, you know that there's a lot of people out there doing stuff. Here's five and three quarters. Here's 10 and a, 10 inches, sorry, and 11 and a half. So this is really handy. I whipped up a bunch of these. Then on this same side, I'm going to do the one and three quarter. I have to think this through because if I do it wrong, I have another sheet of paper here. This is the part that's always hard. It's best to do it without direction. Good boy, that makes life easier. <clears throat> I'm turning it over and I'm doing it at five. Okay, so that's all that we need to do. So I'm taking that out of the way so it's out of our way. Now, I'm going to turn back to this part. The part that you're going to turn over is this. Um, so, I did it right. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, sometimes I don't. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Let me check. This is the part I always got to check. Is it this way? Yes. So, yep. See, this is the part with directional paper. Now I'm confusing you like crazy. Sorry. The part you're going to turn over is the, the one inch. So I'm going to actually, the beauty with this paper is this is going to be the front. And when I turn it over, that's, okay, 
let me start again because you're probably like, you're confusing me like crazy. I always start with a part that I'm going to flip over this way. I do all the scoring. The one inch part is the part that's going to flip over. Then I turn it over and when I flip it over, this side is correct. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If I'm confusing you, I hope not. So I do all the scoring on the part that I'm going to flip over. So I'm doing all the scoring on this part. Um, or this part, as you choose. So I'm doing all the scoring on that. Then I'm going to flip it over. And this is the part that I'm turning down. Hopefully that makes sense. Remember, go back to this. If you use non-directional paper, let me tell you, you'll be a lot help happier. Okay, now I'm going to come back in, and for today, I would spend a lot more time burnishing the folds. Today, I'm just using my fingers, but I do have my bone folder in case I really need it. Um, I am going to do all the folds, including the one on the bottom. Okay, so now I know which way this is going to go. Isn't that cute? It's super cute. I am going to, and I don't think I put it on uh, my, my uh, scrap here, but I'm going to cut up to the top here. Now that I totally confused you on how to cut it and score it, once you do one, it's not so bad. It really isn't, but in the beginning, it's like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Um, I'm going to cut this little one right off at the bottom. You can see that. I cut it right off. Then, at the top, now this was Julie D'Amadio, and I thought it was brilliant. She's going to notch the top. A little notch here. A little notch there. Okay, so now you're like, okay, put this back so you know which way you're going to go. And I'm going to fold it. This part is going to be attached. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do another one at the end because I feel like I totally confused you. And I want to make sure I do another one so it makes sense. I'm going to flip that little flap right up. So this is that little edge. And I'm going to take some glue. Put a little bit of green glue. Not a lot because you don't want it oozing out everywhere. And I thought this was so clever of her. Um, and I'm going to put this right here. Green glue allows me to wiggle, which I like. Of course, my grandkids wiggle all the time. I don't know about you. Okay, push that down. Then I'm going to put that under and put just... She put the glue on at the same time, but I struggled with that. I got a little bit of glue under there. And it just folds under beautifully. Is that a lot cool or what? Okay. Making sure this is really adhered. Now I've got the top. This is the back. When I was making these, I always put the back here. You know how you just have to do that? Okay. Back. But before I put it there, I'm going to just pinch it. And it's not perfect. Pinch it a little bit. That helps. Okay. This is the back going there. So I know that I have to put a little adhesive here. Once again, you know, you want it so it'll stick, but you don't want it so it's going to ooze out everywhere. And I'm, this is the back. So I want everything to fold that way. So I'm going to put this down. I'm folding towards the back. Don't put it right to the edge. I've had trouble with that. You can after, but just get it down first. Now, here was another little tip she had. Take your green glue and just push it down. So I want to do the scoring one more time because I feel like I really confused you on that. But isn't that the cutest little box? So, I'm going to get another piece. 
of the same thing. And I'm going to see if I can do it and not confuse you. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, I'm bringing in my Simply Scored. I am going to... This is the part that I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So let's... You know what I sometimes do? I know that this is the part, the five inch part is the one that's going to have to fold over. Sometimes I do that. So I'm going to have to turn it this way, score the five inch. Yeah. Okay. This is the upside down part and I'm starting with it first. Why? So I know I got everything else scored correctly <laughs> because I get confused and I'm doing the small edges first. This is the one and a half. Okay, now I can come back and do my long edges. I had to figure out which flap I wanted to go because I decided I was gonna be tricky and do directional. That's what gets us confused, doesn't it? Five and three quarter, 10 and 11, oops. Does that ever happen to you? Just go back and start it and just follow through. Golly, I've been doing great until this one. Okay, so I tried to figure out how I wanted it to flip back first. So that's how I did it. I'm not saying that's the right way, but these are all your measurements. And it's, it's tricky, guys, it's tricky. So I want, oops, let me get that out of the way. I want it to look like this, and I wanted the trees to be upright. So I actually had to figure out the one inch part was gonna flip like this, and the trees were gonna be up. That's the part I wanted you to get. So hopefully I haven't totally confused you on this, um, but uh, it is just so fun. Then we're gonna fold each one, I'm not doing it incredibly wonderful, but at least I'm folding. I see some comments and I will definitely be adding in. Okay, so now I've got this little flat back. I Now this one, because I did it the other way, I, it doesn't make a difference which way you attach. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is come up on all of these And because I did it the other way, it's going to be my left side that's going to come apart here. It, the beautiful thing is it's the same thing on both sides. Little notchy. Little notchy. Got to say the word little notchy. And I made a bunch of these so it became easier. Although you wouldn't know it by the way I was explaining it, really. So now the... Right side's gonna fold over. I flip that little guy up. I put glue here. Put him down. Oops, be helpful if I put it down that way. So it covered up the glue. Put that little flappy down. Put a little bit of glue. Get that in a minute. I have to drop something every single video. It just isn't a video if Nancy doesn't drop something and I can't find the lid, but I'll get it later. Um, and then we put it together. So I'm I'm not gonna waste your time. Well, okay, maybe I will waste your time. If you're still watching, you're good. The back is over here. I do it the same way every time or else I get confused. I don't know about you, but that's how I do it. The back is here, so I want this one to go first. And then I want this one to go next. Because then all the flaps are going to the back. Then I'm gonna come through with my green glue. 
And now you've seen how to make one both ways using direction. Or let me tell you, if you use not directional, you'll be much happier. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed. These are just great. I have little um, soap. You can put gift cards. You can put jewelry. All sorts of little fun things in these. So I hope you enjoy this um, fun little treat packaging. And I hope you have a happy Saturday.